Hi, welcome to vblogs.com, home for all your online video and article training as it relates to application, desktop, and server virtualization. In this video today, we're going to be discussing the Citrix Net NetScaler, primarily the service of the Access Gateway. This is part one of the series, and this is really a introduction and overview to the NetScaler device. So, overview of what we're going to be discussing today. We're going to be discussing the features and functionality of the NetScaler device as it relates to the Zen App and Zen Desktop product suite. We're going to be discussing the differences between the NetScaler and the Access Gateway, common uh, misunderstandings and, and terminology uh, um, clarification. We're going to be discussing the different licensing editions, the different makes and models of the NetScaler, and also the difference between the uh, virtual and physical uh, makes and models of the device. So as a high level, what are the different features and functionality or, or services that the NetScaler provides. Well, that really depends on the edition that is purchased uh, and the, um, the licensing edition that is, uh, is purchased with the NetScaler device. Uh, as an introduction, common services include load balancing and the access gateway feature. Once you get into the more advanced editions of the licensing for the product, you then unlock uh, services as uh, that include uh, routing, application firewalling, content switching, VPN functionality, and also global server load balancing. So what are the differences between uh, the NetScaler and the Access Gateway? Well, there's some common misunderstanding between uh, this, these two terms and terminology, so let's try to clear those up here. Well, the Citrix NetScaler is the core device purchased by Citrix. So that's the uh, core device that, that you can purchase by Citrix. And that device, depending on the licensing edition purchased, you can unlock uh, several different features and functionality or several different services um, to allow the product to provide. One of these many services consists of the Access Gateway, which is, like I said, one of the services that can be deployed and utilized with the NetScaler device. Um, this Access Gateway uh, feature and functionality comes in any of the paid versions of and licensing edition for the product, ranging from standard edition, enterprise edition, and platinum editions of the product. So what is the Access Gateway? Well, the Access Gateway is a really cool feature that can be utilized when the, within your deployment of your Zen app and Zen desktop environments. It's typically used and seen when the net scaler is placed within your DMZ. Uh, the Access Gateway service then is turned on on the device uh, when it sits in the DMZ and it allows for seamless access from your public internet users through the Access Gateway uh, or through the DMZ of your network and allows for seamless and, sec and secure access to their virtual applications and virtual desktops residing on your private network, your private LAN network. Um, the key advantage here is that it allows your internet users to connect to these, uh, these private resources on your LAN without the need to first connect and and uh, create the session of a full VPN functionality. So it allows for ease of use for the end user uh, to more seamlessly access their, their resources and it allows the removal of the step to first connect the full VPN uh, connection in, uh, to your LAN network. Uh, it allows this uh, on your internet users on their device. You simply need to install the Citrix receiver from there, through HTTPS and SSL connection, they directly connect to your DMZ uh, NetScaler device, which then will uh, proxy and forward their connection into your LAN, allowing for seamless connectivity and access. So what are the different uh, product and licensing editions? Well, the different editions consist of standard, enterprise, and platinum editions of the NetScaler device. We're primarily going to be focusing on the standard edition in this video series. As the standard edition, for the most part, comes with everything uh, needed for a successful deployment of Zen App or Zen Desktop environment. 
that including the load balancing and the access gateway feature and functionality. Um, like I said, it's it's uh, for the most part typically all that's needed uh, as far as services uh, turned on on the Netscaler device. If but for some reason the standard edition doesn't come with all the needed services, features, and functionality, if there's uh, additional more advanced features that you would like to see enabled on your device, there is always the option of the Enterprise and Platinum editions of the device, allowing for, like I said, advanced features and functionality consisting of application acceleration, compression and caching, uh, other secure services such as advanced firewalling, attack prevention, denial of service shielding, uh, others consist of global server load balancing and full featured uh, VPN functionality. Another quick line item here is uh, support and maintenance plans. Just something else to make sure to factor in uh, in your cost analysis for your Zen app and Zen desktop deployment. Um, you know, you're going to want to make sure to get, uh, in addition to your product licensing, you're going to want to make sure to get uh, a proper support and maintenance plan. Most commonly uh, seen within the support and maintenance plans is the preferred extended hour support and maintenance plan provided by Citrix, uh, so one as a line item uh, within the building of the Netscaler product. So with that, let's quickly discuss the makes and models of the Netscaler. The Netscaler comes in uh, both uh, virtual and physical devices. Um, its physical devices consist of two product lines, that consisting of the uh, the MPX and the STX product lines. We're not really going to be discussing those today. We're mainly going to be uh, in this video series primarily focusing on the VPX virtual appliance and product line, <clears throat> um, which consists of the models depicted here. Um, before I go into the models, let's, let's quickly do a high level overview of when you would utilize the virtual device and when you would utilize the physical device. So the virtual device and virtual appliances are typically seen within proof of concepts, pi pilot environments, um, production environments. They're mainly only seen within small deployments of the product. Um, the somewhat funny thing here is that Citrix claims um, and markets that the virtual appliance, though uh, you know it can handle up to three, uh, you know three gigabits per second HTTP throughput traffic, they claim it can handle up to um, 500 new SSL transactions per section per second, uh, 300 VPN users, you know. But though you know though those numbers are depicted within their marketing, it's commonly not seen for the VPX environment to be used in production and to be used to this capacity. Uh, even Citrix recommends uh, not using it to that capacity. Um, they have a lot of concerns with its ability to scale and its ability to be used in, in larger scale, larger sized production environments. So like I said, you're gonna be want to, you know, typically want to use the physical devices in larger deployments uh, where the the VPX device can be seen in smaller deployments, proof of concepts, pilots. Uh, another nice area where it can be used and seen is when used as a load balancer on your LAN, uh, sitting in front of your web servers. Uh, a couple other comment or nice uh, notes here. Um, the you know in the VPX the different models, the uh, VPX 10 and 200 series are you know really for small scale deployments um, you know very small proof of concepts and pilots more commonly seen is the VPX 1000 and 3000 series as they come with the uh, you know gigabit uh, in, uh, network connections which are are you know preferred for most clients uh, and as most clients like to see that gigabit base connection uh, for most production environments. So most commonly seen is the for production use would be the 1000 and 3000 series. So I'm going to leave this up for a minute. You can kind of take a look at the different makes and models. You can also look at Citrix's website to look at each uh, make and model in more um, in more detail. So with that, thanks for visiting vblogs.com. Hope for all of your online video and article training. 
as it relates to application desktop and server virtualization.